After an action-packed first week and a well-earned rest day, the Tour de France resumes with the first proper mountain stage between Annecy and the Grand Bournon. Five categorised climbs in all, including a first visit to the Plateau de Glières. There'll also be a short section of gravel track for the first time since 1987. Potentially a very important day coming up for the GC riders. Well, this tenth stage was part of a gruelling Alpine trilogy that will conclude at the Alpe d'Huez on Thursday. A group of 21 riders broke away in the early part of the stage, including Peter Sagan, who was looking to tighten his grip on the green jersey. The world champion picking up 20 more points at the intermediate sprint to move over 100 clear of Fernando Gaviria. With Sky controlling the peloton, the breakaway began to split up the Category 1 at Col de la Croix Free, Rudy Mollard beating Ren Tarame to the summit. Greg Van Avermaet was also up at the front, looking absolutely determined to keep hold of his maillot jaune. Mollard and FDJ teammate David Gordu working hard on the way up the day's whole category climb to the Plateau de Glière. But Julien Alaphilippe was the first man over the top, picking up 20, kicking the mountains points in the process. Well, there was only a short section of dirt track after the climb, but it was still enough for Chris Froome to get a puncture. The four-time winner held up on the Plateau de Glière, a symbolic site for the French resistance during World War II. Froome also had to stop to change his bike, but he soon caught up on the descent with Sky controlling the pace. And there were still 18 men left in the breakaway heading up to the Category 1 Col de Rome. They'd built up a sizable gap of over six minutes. Direct Energy's Ryan Tarame attacking off the front. The Estonian looking to complete his Grand Tour hat-trick after stage wins at the Giro and the Vuelta. Warren Bargit also having a go. In spite of his insistence that he'll be targeting stage wins this year and not the GC. But this was the day's decisive move with around 30k to go. Alaphilippe catching and passing Tarame, picking up 10 more points at the top of the Col de Rom to go virtually top of the polka dot standings. And more importantly, the winner of La Flèche Vallon was soon speeding towards a first Tour de France stage win, increasing his lead over Tarame on the descent. And roared on by the French fans coming over the final summit at the Col de la Colombière. With Barguil caught by the pack. This one was all about Alaphilippe. Dan Martin, the quickest man to the top of Colombier from the pack. But really the fireworks that had been promised in the GC never really materialized. Alaphilippe coming in all alone for the first French victory of this 2018 Tour de France. Van Avermaet meanwhile staying in yellow. And this one really will live long in the memory for that man, Alaphilippe. After missed chances in Camper and Mur de Bretagne, the 26-year-old can finally boast a first Tour stage win. Well, he was understandably emotional after a phenomenal performance. And as an added bonus, he also got hold of the polka dot jersey as well. It's hard to get my head around it. There's a lot of emotion because it's not easy to win on the Tour. I came close during my first participation two years ago, but to win a stage like I did today, I mean, it was unexpected. I can't even find the words. Alaphilippe taking the first solo victory of this Tour, a minute and 34 seconds ahead of Yannis Aguirre. Tarame settling for third ahead of the impressive Van Avermaet, who was named the day's most aggressive rider. He'll be in yellow for an eighth day then, though it's likely to be his last after his efforts on stage 10. He leads Geraint Thomas by 2 minutes 22 seconds, while Verdi Fuglsang and Jungles make up the top five. Stage 11 picks up where stage 10 left off with another tough day between Albaville and La Rosière. Only 108.5 kilometres to cover, but four climbs, including the all category Monte de Bizan and Col du Pre. It was also the first uphill finish of the race in La Rosière, where Thomas finished second on his way to winning this year's Criterium de Dauphiné in June. Thanks very much for watching, and do join us again on Wednesday.